Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. As part of this tutorial series, we have seen how we can create a project in C# -sharp based on page object model. We have seen how we can create page object classes, page factory implementation, and how to write the automation test. In the last session, we have created a base class for driver where we have initialized the web driver object in setup attribute and quitting the web driver object at the end of each test in tear down attribute so in all test classes we have inherited the same driver class to get the same web driver object which we initialized in the setup method today in this session we'll see how to run the multiple test in parallel so far we have seen how to execute the test but if i execute all my tests now then they all gonna execute in sequential order let's suppose we have 100 test cases or test methods which we want to execute and let's say my one test case takes around 5 minutes to execute then if i run my whole suit of 100 test cases in sequential order then it will take approx 500 minutes to complete the more test cases or test methods i'll add into my suite the more time my execution will take so to reduce the test execution time we can run our test cases in parallel instead of sequential now what parallel execution does basically when we run our test cases sequentially then a single test case will run at a time the second test will run after the completion of the first test case and the third will run after the completion of the second test case and so on but when i talk about parallel execution then all the test cases which i have can run at a same time without waiting for the completion of another test so if i say i can run 10 test cases at the same time and i have 100 test cases then my execution time will reduce from 500 minutes to 10 into 5 equals to 50 minutes so you can assume that when i run 10 test cases in parallel then my execution time decreases by 10 times and this is the huge benefit of parallel execution so we have talked about the advantage of parallel execution now let's see how we can implement the same in our framework So whenever we need to implement the parallel execution then the features to execute the test in parallel are provided or supported by most of the test frameworks in our case we are using n unit as a test framework which also supports parallel execution but in case if you are using any other test frameworks like x unit or ms test in dotnet then they also provide c parallel execution and if we talk about java then there also parallel execution is supported by using testng or che unit so let's see in n unit how we can enable the parallel execution before adding the parallel execution support let me first add a few more test in this class so that we can see how all test will run in parallel let me copy this test and then i can create another test with the name as search phone and let me change the search string as iphone 13 which the script is going to search on amazon.com after that i'll update the assertion to verify the page title contains iphone 13 Now let me create another test with name as search watch and here I'll search for the item apple watch and then this will verify that the page title should contain apple watch
So now we have these three tests available in my test class. One is for search book, the other one is for search phone, and the last one is for search watch. Now let me build the project. And if I expand my test over here, then we can see now we have three tests under the home test class. And if I run these test methods now, then let's see what will happen. You can see one test is running, which is basically searching for a web driver book. The first test is done. Now you can see the second test is running, which will search for an iPhone on Amazon.com. So the second test is also done. And now the third test is running, which will search for an Apple Watch. Now the third test is also done. So we have seen how our test executed when we run them in sequential order. First, this test got executed, then this one, and at last, this got executed. So all the test cases executed sequentially. And when we sum the total time of each test method, then it took around 1 minute 20 seconds. Now, to enable the parallel execution, I need to add one attribute provided by an unit over here at class level. And the attribute is parallelizable, which enables the parallel execution of test methods. And into this, we can pass the argument as parallel scope. So parallel scope defines how we want to run our test in parallel, which provides different types of enumerations used to specify which test may run in parallel. We have all, children, fixture, and self. Now we'll see the use of each type of parallel scope. First, let's add the parallel scope as all and save it. And now let's run the all test of home test class. You can see all three tests are running in parallel. Here we have one instance of a browser. Here is the second instance. And here we can see the third instance of the browser. So in one instance of a browser, search book test is running. Then in another instance, the search phone test is running. And in the third instance of the browser, the search watch test is running. So the execution is done. And we can see all the tests failed. And if I open the test logs, then we can see the error is object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay. So the problem is that we are using a web driver object, which is basically a static object. And when all these tests are running in parallel, then it means they are getting executed by different threads. So we can say that three threads executes when we run the home test class. Each thread executes one test. And because we have used web driver as a static object, so the value of static variables can be shared between multiple threads. And when the first thread quits the web driver object, then the web driver object won't be available for another thread to execute the test. So this is the problem of using a static web driver object in parallel execution. Now the solution to this problem is to make the web driver object as thread safe. So that each thread will have its own instance of a web driver object, which is not being shared with other threads. And to make an object as thread safe, 
we can add an attribute called thread static. This attribute indicates that the value of a static field is unique for each thread. Now, because of this attribute, all the threads which are running in parallel and executing the different test method will have their own unique instance of WebDriver object. So let me build the project again. And now let me run the test cases. Here you can see all the browser instances are open for all the three test executions. So this time this test all the tests should pass because we have created the web driver object as thread safe. Now we can see all the tests are completed. And you can see here that all three tests have now passed. And if we talk about the execution time, then you can see that total time taken by three tests is 2.7 minutes. So if they all executed in sequential order, then it would have taken the total execution time as 2.7 minutes. But because we have executed these tests in parallel, so now the execution time is the maximum time taken by a single test. Here this test took around 56 seconds, which is maximum among the three tests. And within 56 seconds, all three tests got executed. So this is how you can save time by running your test in parallel. So that's it for today. In my next session, we'll discuss about different enumeration of parallel scope and how the test execution behaves differently when we change the value for parallel scope. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.